Hi Aquarius, welcome in. Thank you guys for liking the video. Hi everyone. Hello. Okay, let's see. Well, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands as I split the deck, so... I do see your money growing, okay? Your your income growing, your money growing. You accomplishing some money goal, okay? You could have a goal to pay off some debt here. For some of you guys, I am seeing that, okay? Let's see. I'm also getting, you know, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, be mindful with charging too many things on a credit card. Just be mindful of that, but I am getting you pay off some debt or having the money to, you know, it's up to you. I see you being able to pay off debt here. Okay. Let's see. What else? Yeah. Five of pentacles. So this is like when you, I do see extra income coming in or you being able to pay down some sort of debt here. Five of Pentacles tells me some of you guys may struggle with the idea of putting more money on your debt, but it would be wise to do that, okay? Watch your spending in general. We got the devil in reverse here and the Six of Wands in reverse. The Six of Wands in reverse can be about the ego. Five of Pentacles is here. Watch your spending, okay? This is like telling me, how do I want to say that? <clears throat> I'm just going to say it the way it comes to me, so I'm sorry if anyone gets offended with my delivery, but it just kind of seems like there may be some things you don't need to purchase, okay? Uh, Six of Wands upright. This is kind of like getting attention, um, wanting, wanting attention in general. And so with the Five of Pentacles being here, there may be some ego spending going on, like wanting to look the part, but draining your bank account. So your guides are actually just warning you about that. Take it or leave it. Seven of Wands. Uh, you know, and this could be a challenge for you, okay? I, I do feel like you're going to be challenged with not spending money or overspending here. Ten of Wands in reverse. And then we have the ace. So your money, for the most part, is growing, Aquarius, okay? It's just, as you start to make more money, some of you may want to spend more, okay? Instead of putting the money on the debt you may have acquired over the years or saving it. And it would be wise to save it or pay down some debt is what I'm trying to say with your reading. Take it or leave it. Um... Some parts may resonate, some parts may not. Let's take a look at the workspace. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the workspace here. What's going on there? So I see your spirit rising. Some of you guys may feel defensive towards your coworkers. Ten of Wands, feeling like you're picking up all the slack or doing all the work here, okay? Like you have extra responsibility and you're feeling, I feel like you're feeling defensive towards your coworkers because they're not picking up the slack for some of you. And then we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys are moving on from, you know, I think you're changing jobs or you're going to be getting a new position because of all of this extra work you have been putting in. But there's there's something here about you not trusting your coworkers or not trusting the people around you. I feel as if you would be wise to keep things to yourself, Aquarius, okay? Your your next step 
You should keep your goals and your next step to yourself here is what I'm getting. But some of you guys will be releasing this and moving on to something else if you haven't already. Swords in reverse is a need to state the truth. Okay, I feel like some of you guys may view your co-workers as all talk and no action. And you feel as if you are doing all the work compared to your co-workers. Page of Wands. I do feel as if there's going to be a period where, you know, you want to say something that's been bothering you. Okay, the nine of wands in reverse is questioning someone's motives. So it's like you may you may question your coworkers' motives. You may question, uh, some of you guys may view your coworkers as trying to stir the pot. Okay, is what I'm getting. I do feel like there could be some coworkers around you that are trying to stir, stir the pot and then they try to avoid the mess that they create. Things like that. Overall, you guys are either getting a new position at the workplace because of all the extra effort you've been putting in or you could be changing jobs altogether is what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. We have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Try not to take your work home. Does that make sense? Don't take your work home. Okay, don't allow the setbacks at work or the disappointments at work. Don't, don't bring that into the home. Okay, is what I want to say. Like, when work day is over, try to release it. Try to meditate if you can't just release it. Okay, we're going to move on to how people see you. This um, section probably won't stay. I might bring it in every once in a while. I don't know. Um, I like to switch things up from time to time if you are new here. Let's see. How do people see Aquarius right now? Give me three cards. Give me three cards, please. Sure to only take what resonates. How do people see you, Aquarius? People see you as someone who likes to clear up confusion. Okay, if there's ever any misunderstandings, you definitely like to step up and clear up misunderstandings. Okay, that you can't keep things in a state of confusion here. People see you as giving them what they want. I don't know what that's trying to say, but people see you as giving them what they want. Give me two more. Like they like what they see when they see you. They like what they hear when they hear you. The Knight of Swords can be very hasty. Like you can say things uh, without thinking and they could see you that way. Some people do see you as someone that just kind of pops off and says whatever you want to say and that you didn't give it a second thought. But at the same time, it clears up confusion. That you don't like leaving things. Yeah, look at that. Page of Pentacles in reverse. That's a misunderstanding. You don't like leaving things up in the air or you don't. I feel like people also see you as someone that does not like to be misunderstood. I mean, who does? Right? So you're quick to clear the air. You're quick to say what's on your mind. And so people, for the most part, do see you as someone who's very honest. Give me one more for how people see you right now. Five of Wands. That you're not afraid of the opinions of others. 
Okay, that there might be a lot of people around you that are judgmental. And people are aware of the judgmental energies around you. Like, uh, I don't know, family members, coworkers, whoever, what have you. But you're being seen as someone that likes to clear the air. That you don't like keeping... Uh, you know, this is an energy of people. Don't, people know that there are a lot of people that know you don't like drama. Okay, the drama, the the drama that comes with misunderstandings. However, you're perfectly fine stating your opinion and clearing the air, clearing your name. Okay, people know that you're going to speak the truth. Let's move on to singles and new love. I'm going to pull a card for you singles. Spirit, tell me about the singles. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do the single Aquarians need to know? Did y'all see my um, my short video of Melakite last night? I was uh, I laid on the floor with him and Luna, and I was like, this would be a really cute video. Let me get a video of Melakite and Luna playing. And he had had some catnip right before. I'll tell you what, he was not having that camera in his face. <laughs> if you saw the video, he snatched it right out of my he snatched my whole phone out of my hand. I was like, it was funny. I figured I'd share it with y'all. Okay. All right. Single Aquarians. Y'all, I'm obsessed with my cats. You should see my camera roll. Okay. It's mainly just a bunch of screenshots I find funny, interesting, and my cats pretty much all it is. Okay, singles. Sorry if the, I'm sorry, the shuffling y'all. I've got to. Okay, singles. So I see you moving on from a karmic relationship. One that was very triggering for you. This is you letting go and loving you, or, you know, this is your advice to do so. I feel like there are, you have been through some lessons here. Mm -hmm. the, the great news, whatever you're doing, palm tree tells me you're moving into a place of stability. Okay, security. You've definitely been through something, um, it's like... You really endured something here, is what I'm getting. Something really, I wanted to say terrible. Okay, I, I feel like there's a lot of resentment here. Some of you could be still holding on to this resentment. We got lightning, okay, a sudden change, so shocking news. So, you know what? This just tells me, I feel like you guys may have been some, I don't know what timeline you're on. Just some of y'all are having a tower moment when it comes to love. Okay. Uh, this tells me you may be growing and evolving and changing. I feel like you're, what you're attracted to is about to change. Okay. Because you are maturing and you're raising your frequency here. You're starting to become more interested in stability, security. What somebody actually, the strength someone actually has to offer a connection. Okay. So what is this? Uh, you guys are changing for sure, but what, what else? What is this lightning about? It's almost like you just woke up one day suddenly and had enough, or you will. Okay, some of y'all, your longing and yearning for someone is about to switch over into resentment and hate. Okay, which therefore will also transform into releasing and letting go. Kind of like stages of grief might be happening here. Let's see. 
Yeah. Three of Swords. Jeez. Okay. Some uh, you single are definitely still healing from a heartbreak here. Okay. It's like you've, you you you're gonna wake up and just be like, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of being put in a third party. I've had enough of being an option. You just had enough. And you know what? This energy, Aquarius, this is right before you meet some, the love of your life. I always find, you know, for the most part, after the mistake of your life is when you meet the love of your life is what I've actually witnessed. Okay. Three of cups. 33 could be a significant number or threes in general. I do see this person trying to reunite with you, Aquarius, whoever put you in a third party or whoever, whoever you have really been holding on to emotionally. Like I feel like somebody may have an emotional grip on you in some shape or form. And I do see this person suddenly popping back up in your life. I do see that. So the reason why this is an important message for you to know is to be prepared with how your reaction is going to be to that. Who's coming toward the singles? Who is coming toward the singles? <sighs> Y'all, I just shuffled these. The three of swords is coming towards you, singles. Okay, somebody that hurts you or, you know, someone that puts you in a third party. Who's coming toward the singles? Well... Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Devil. The one that has really had a hold on you. Okay. Um, they really had a hold on you. Okay. The deception was just, oh my gosh, unfathomable. Like this, this person really did a number on you, Aquarius. Okay been a lot of obsessive energy over the situation, not feeling good enough, a lot of restlessness. Okay. It's the one that really has a hold on you. The one where the deception, you just keep, it's hard to get over because it's just crazy that somebody could actually do this to you. Okay. Um, what are their, golly. For, some, for a small part of you, uh, this person, you could have met them online. Um, some of you guys met them at work, okay? Or this person used to really communicate with you when they were at the workplace for some of you guys. Um, or they're just real materialistic. Ten of Pentacles is here as well. Um, what are their intentions for coming toward Aquarius? Why are they coming toward you? Why are they popping back up? Two of Pentacles... They're popping back. Hold on one second. Sorry. I didn't want to cough in your ear. My allergies are crazy here in good old South Carolina. They, they then sprayed some new pollen over here. Anyway. Um, the two of pentacles for their intentions. I don't like that because it's like they still, they're still juggling, first of all. They still want you as a, their intention is to have you as an option. Okay. You see how he looks like he's entertaining? Like he looks like a, almost like a joker in a way. Um, intuitively, I feel like this person just wants some entertainment, enjoyment, excitement. Pull a card for how they feel, and we're going to move on to the new person of interest. 
Five of Cups for how they feel. They feel guilty. All right. But does that really matter? Because they're still coming back. Their intentions are to juggle. All right. Four of Wands. Five of Swords. This person's real good at mind games, too. And, and what I mean by that, it's almost like this person really knows how to sink their teeth into you. Okay, Aquarius. I see someone coming towards you to seduce you. And I hate to say it, it's false hope. They want to give you false hope, okay? Um, because they do want you as an option. They do want you around as an option. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Water, Earth, Capricorn. First card out said karmic relationship, okay? Karmic relationships are basically, I don't like labels to be on the show. I'm a Gemini, but for the sake of the um, karmic relationships are basically those relationships that are meant to teach you a lesson, meant to help you grow and evolve. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening because palm tree came out with it. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the new person of interest. What, what deck do I want to use? Okay, new person, new love interest. I don't want to use this deck. I don't want to use it. All right, new love interest. I'm going to try to keep the deck away from the mic so it doesn't, not so loud in your ear. I keep forgetting because I try to be comfortable back here. This is a big table, believe it or not. All right. Let's see, spirit. Um, this new person that Aquarius is inquiring about. Thank you guys for liking the video, by the way. How does the new person see you right now? What's their opinion of you? How do they see you? The Knight of Cups. I think you think you're charming. Creative. They see you as someone they have romantic feelings for. They want to give you something. They want to offer you that cup. You know this new person, Aquarius, has thought about bringing you a drink or coffee or... I don't care what stage you two are in, if you guys have really not even spoken a lot. This new person has already thought about what they would like to give you or how they would like to pursue you. Okay. Like they want to know what your favorite things are. I'm just getting like, they're so intrigued. They want to know what your favorite drink is or your favorite color. They're so intrigued by you, Aquarius. Let's see. How do they feel? How do they truly feel about you right now? How does this new person truly feel about you? Six of Pentacles, generous towards you. This person wants to give you something. I'm telling you, they have thought about it. Okay. If they haven't already given you something. If this is such a new connection, they're, they're like, I want to give Aquarius something, but that would be weird. That would be, they're like, it would be weird if I would, you know, just randomly gift Aquarius something and I barely know Aquarius. Six of Pentacles standard is generosity. They feel generous towards you. And this person is already feeling some sort of meaningful connection with you, Aquarius. What are their intentions right now? What are their intentions toward Aquarius? Ten of Cups, to have a relationship. Let's see. 
Ten of Swords. Give me one second, Aquarius. One thing, so I was asking, one thing about this person, Aquarius, I do feel like they have suffered a great deal in love, okay? Someone could have a strong Libra placement, all right, or Virgo, because I feel like this person is so generous, they feel so generous, okay, to their in their to their core. The problem is, uh, this is the type of person that it's like they could give, give, give to other people, and then when other people don't equally give to the situation, this is the kind of person that will just feel drained, exhausted. They're a people pleaser in a sense, okay. And I feel like when it comes to love. They do tend to chase. They do tend to overgive, overshare. You know, this is someone that really wants to be loved, right? Um, and so the, my hesitation was the only problem with that is I, I wonder if this person, you know, has truly found themselves. They just seem so interested in love. And I'm not trying to ruin your reading. But it's like this person just, to me, they just feel like they're so interested in loving and being loved. And then when I pulled the Ten of Swords, this is kind of like a character. Their character is like who they are, the Ten of Swords. They deplete themselves. You know what I mean? Like they'll literally go above and beyond for other people. And then I feel like they'll get mad, Queen of Swords in reverse. They could become very cold and bitter when it's not instantly reciprocated. Okay. Just something to be aware of. So what are their next actions toward Aquarius? What are their next actions toward you? Now they can have water in their chart, earth or air. The star. Y'all, this person wants you. I see communication, direct communication, or some sort of direct action coming off of this person to show you. Th their next actions are to make you feel special. You're going to feel very special by their next actions, Aquarius. We've got Scorpio energy here and then the Two of Cups. The situation is about to drastically change between the two of you. And what I mean by that, you get closer to this person. You guys are going to become closer because of some sort of action they take towards you that makes you feel special. I do see a lot of chemistry between you and this person. Now the death card being here in the Ten of Swords, this is like the end of uh, the end of an era and the beginning of an era. So whatever, whatever type of situation you two are in, that's about to evolve into the next stage or into a new stage here. I feel the need to pull a hidden truth card. says we will be together again which translates to me as like this person's not going anywhere okay they're not going anywhere i feel like this person does obsess or fixate on you to the point where they do have to focus on other things in order to stop thinking about it make sure you get what is aquarius's advice aquarius make sure you get to know this person before you put all of your eggs in one basket i I hate saying that, but this person is definitely going to make you top priority, which is great, right? That is great. However, my only concern is someone does have a tendency to be over the top. Although it may sound good to you right now, wait until down the road <laughs> you realize people like this can harbor resentment. If you are not meeting them in that same capacity, which, you know, what's Aquarius's advice? 
Don't play with this person. I don't know why you need to know that. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Your advice is to don't abandon this situation too soon, but also, you know, know what you're getting yourself into. Get to know this person other than just surface level things. And don't play mind games. You'll, you'll, you'll waste your time playing mind games with someone like this. That's not to say that you are doing that, Aquarius. It's just advice. We got strong Scorpio and Aquarius here. All right. Now we're going to take a look at the one that you are currently having an issue with. So if you are not currently having an issue with anyone, this part is not for you. The reason why it's called current slash past is because you're still dealing with this person, but there has been a past incident. Okay, the energy is still there. Let's see. in the past between Aquarius and this person. Hi, everybody. Y'all are funny in there. What happened in the past? Eight of Swords. You were blindsided. Okay. Did somebody make you feel insecure here? It's telling me in the past you felt like you were left with nothing you could do. There was nothing you could do. Like it's an energy of feeling victimized too. Like you, you, you know, someone could have made you feel like a victim on some level. Nine of pentacles. There was nothing you could do to get them to see your value. Nothing you could do. This is how you felt. Okay. It's like, you felt like the situation was out of your hands. You know, your hands were tied in the situation, right? There was nothing you could do to make someone see your worth. You know, this could be someone that was non-committal towards you or very secretive. Okay. We got Pisces energy here. The letter B or J could stand out to someone. Um, it's a general reading though. I do feel like somebody went silent on you. Okay. Or there, there could still be silence between the both of you now. But I'm getting like someone here did not give you an explanation, like an actual explanation to whatever happened here, which left you feeling victimized or left you feeling as if your hands were tied. They definitely made you feel like you were unworthy in a sense. Okay. Secrets. The High Priestess is also secrets. How do you view this situation right now? I think you view it as one-sided. Like you were more generous toward the connection. You put in more effort toward the connection. Okay. How do they view you right now? How do they view you, Aquarius, right now? As Aquarius watches this, how do they view you? As a soulmate, two of cups. You made a big impact on this person here, okay? Tell me more about how they view Aquarius. So they view you as someone, if they were, they view you as someone they could have invested in and had something with.
You pull on their heartstrings to this day, Aquarius. Why do I get, like, I'm getting less energy of if I would have just put in more effort. Because they know you put in more effort than they did. Seven of Pentacles, probably they see you two of cups. They do see you as someone they want to be in a relationship with. They see you as someone they could have a good relationship with. Okay, they see you as someone who added positivity to their life. They, they see you as a good person, a good person for them. And they see you as someone who was interested, was invested. Okay. How are they currently feeling about you? How are they currently feeling about Aquarius? Five of Pentacles. They feel bad, guys. They feel bad. They feel bad for abandoning you. They still did it, though. Okay. I do feel this person feels guilty. How do they feel about you? Seven of Swords in reverse. They feel guilty. Okay, a lot of you guys, it's that Seven of Swords in reverse could be caught. So they feel like you were either about to catch them or that you caught them in a lie. If you were ghosted by someone, that's the deal. You were on the brink of figuring them out. Okay, you were you were either you did figure them out and that's why they ghosted you, or they knew that you were about to see through them, or you know they couldn't keep wearing the mask. Is what I'm, I'm was what I'm getting. But they feel bad for how they treated you, Aquarius. They do feel guilty about this what are their next actions toward you keep in mind this is with current energy their next actions what are their next actions toward you everybody has free will we can't control other people's free will and people can change their mind all right what are their next actions toward you. Oh, a reconciliation. Six of Cups. Their next actions are to uh, pop back up in your life. Some of you guys, if they're still here, this is just them apologizing in general. I do see an apology here. A peace offering, a peace offering of some kind. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Cups. This is someone off. This is like an olive branch being extended here. I do see an offer of emotion. This person does want to tell you how they feel about the situation. Okay, they they. Are, I see this person reaching out and expressing what they did not express to you in the past. What's their hidden truth toward Aquarius? Hidden truth toward Aquarius. So many things remind you of them. I mean, <laughs> y'all, sometimes I just want to run away. Okay. <laughs> so many things. I'm sure a lot of things remind you of them. I'm sure of it. All right. I'm sure. Okay, but the card says, so many things remind me of you. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay. 
Give me one more. So they're cons. I don't know why it's so funny. Okay, leave me alone. Uh, they're constantly being reminded of you in this connection. Okay. So I feel like with me saying that there are no coincidences. Okay. All the same things that you're seeing, Aquarius, they're seeing that same stuff, the synchronicities, okay? What you are seeing, so are they. Okay. <laughs> Give me one more. Let's get one more for you. I left before you could leave me, like I said. They knew you were about to, they knew that the mask was about to fall off. They couldn't keep up. They couldn't keep up the secrets. Okay. They left you before you could leave them. Because you know what, Aquarius, what they did to you, their ego couldn't take someone else doing that to them. Okay. The shit they did to you. They couldn't handle it the way you did. Just saying. Now, in a general reading, you know, this there could be it could be any sign. We all embody each sign at one point. But they could have a strong Pisces placement, an Aquarius placement, a Leo. As far as elements, we have water, air, earth. Okay. And then we have a little bit of fire at the bottom of the deck, specifically a Leo. This person could have blocked you. Somebody could have ghosted you and then blocked you. Dang. Look, guys, even this person, what I don't know exactly the specifics of what they did, but you know... Even they think, damn, I, I, I treated Aquarius poorly. You know, when they stop and think about it, they're like, damn, because they do reflect. All right, they do. It does pop up in their mind. All right. Got Gemini here as well. Okay. Take it how it resonates, it's in general. All right, we're gonna do all signs, their sign. Boy, am I slow. I'm so slow, y'all. Okay. If you're dealing with this sign, if you're dealing with this sign, if you guys could please like the video. Um, I would really appreciate it. For those of you that want to, um, and you just forgot, it does help the channel out a lot. Okay. I'm back here begging for like, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Let's blame the full moon. All right. I think everything is just, I'm, I feel silly and tired. Okay. If I could ex like explain my emotions today, it's silly and tired. All right. Okay. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Please, sir. I want some more likes. <laughs> okay. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. <laughs> All right, give me a second, y'all. Let me get it together. Well, we're going to pretend y'all didn't see that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna pretend that never happened. All right. <laughs> okay. If you're dealing with an Aries, I see a message coming in from an Aries, all right. 
like it, this is a message of wanting to get to know you though or, or see how you've been page of wands it's really flirtatious flirtatious message coming in from an aries if you're dealing with a taurus eight of cups taurus is walking away guys the eight of cups is giving up the taurus is disappointed how the situation has ended but the eight of cups energy they're walking away right now the gemini I see the Gemini pursuing you. Some of you guys, there's a Gemini that is crushing on you. Knight of Cups. Okay, I do see a Gemini pursuing you here. The Cancer, a message coming in, a new message. A new message coming in from a Cancer. Some of you guys may be dealing with a, a new person that is a Cancer in the future. Either way, there's definitely a new message coming in from a Cancer. If you are dealing with a Leo, I see a Leo giving you a gift. You're going to receive a gift from a Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, why the world? Seven of Wands. Virgo watches you online. Mm -hmm. They watch you online somehow. If you're dealing with a Libra, not a whole lot coming from this Libra right now. Okay, I, I get that they do think a lot about this, but they're not taking action. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they want to improve the situation. The Sagittarius will be taking action towards you, bold action. I see you and a Capricorn hanging out in the future, but I don't think you should trust this Capricorn. The Capricorn's not trustworthy. Those of you that are dealing with a Capricorn, and specifically a Capricorn that... I'm getting a Capricorn that may have never let you in in the first place. Okay, or broke your trust in some shape or form. Just remember that. They broke your trust. The, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, I see honest communication coming from the Aquarius. The blunt truth. The Pisces is guarded and closed off. Okay, they can't make a decision. All right, y'all. Well, I will see you in the next one. I'm about to do Pisces. Thank you guys for liking the video. Bye.